In this video, I'm gonna show you something you really want to avoid if you want to be able to pick across strings properly. So this is something that will really mess you up when it comes to picking across strings. So if you've grabbed the warm-up free course yet, you have done that, right? If you haven't, I'll put the link below. Um, just go and log in. No downloading, you can just stream it forever. There's a great picking exercise in there. And the reason it's so good is it gets you to practice the string crossing motions in a way that is really easy. You're not having to memorize too much with the fretting hand. You just get to do this. But it will also highlight uh, a certain problem that a lot of people have, and that is they do something called clock facing, where their hand will be in one position on the lower strings, like here. But by the time they get to the higher strings, it's in a completely different position, like this. And the trouble with that is that it changes the angle that your pick hits the strings, but it also changes the angle of your wrist and where the picking motion comes from. So everything feels completely different down here than it does here. And regardless of, well, depending on how you play, you might actually be better at picking like this on the high E, and then you might be really struggling with picking like this on the low E. Regardless of which is your preferred motion, what you want to do is identify which is the one which works best for you and maintain that angle. And the way to do that is to remember that your forearm can actually control the height of your hand. So if your hand is here and you've got this angle here, then if you want that same angle on the lower strings or on the higher strings, I should say, then you just do that. Your forearm literally just moves down and your hand moves down as a whole and you can still do that. And it just helps you avoid the horrible scraping motion that you get if you do this. All right. Uh, now some people can pick like that, but if you don't pick like that, uh, then you might be wondering why you're not being able to get any speed and it feels horrible and awkward. It's just because when your pick is aimed down like that, so it's almost vertical with the floor, your pick scrapes along the string so when your pick touches the string it moves along it a little bit front to back and then it comes out the other side so you get this kind of that scraping motion which you don't really want all right rather than a, a more focused pick action on it okay so that's the clock face so you kind of want to avoid the clock face Whilst there are examples of people out there that do play like that they're usually in the minority and I wouldn't recommend it because it just it causes you more problems than you need to, right? And why have something which you need to now learn how to overcome when you could actually just do it this way, which is a lot easier, I promise you. So just remember that you can use the forearm to control the height of your hand. I'm not saying pick from the forearm, I'm just saying it moves the position of your hand and from there you can have the same pick angle, all right? So if you use that picking exercise in the warm up and try this with it, and actually try the clock face as well, doing that clock face motion, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It makes it way harder than it needs to be. And then just try applying what I said, which is just have the same hand angle throughout, and you'll see that it's way easier. So that's all for this episode. I'll see you next week, so be there. Yeah.